Our next guest is Maddalena Testillo. Maddalena hails from Vicenza in Northern Italy and joins us today to talk about culture, authenticity, and entrepreneurship. Maddalena, welcome to Feel Like You Belong. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. So the last time we saw each other, you were actually wearing a mask, oh, yeah. <laughs> but you weren't robbing a bank. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So uh, talk about the event that, that you were helping organize. Yeah, that, that was a really great event. It was a great opportunity to share my culture with the community, the West Michigan community. So yeah, I've been asked to introduce the Carnival of Venice uh, to this gathering. So. Yeah, I, I was wearing a mask, and actually everyone was wear, were wearing a mask. So it wasn't I had really. A mask. I had a mask. You had a mask too, right. so it wasn't really tough to <laughs> to be yeah there. Um, yeah, it was a great time, really. Yeah, mm -hmm. I and I really it. learned a lot about the various kinds of masks that there are. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a rich tradition in Venice and and really throughout Italy. Yeah, actually, yeah, the, the Carnival of Venice, but we don't have just the Carnival of Venice. We have so many type of carnival in, in Italy. Sure. But the Carnival of Venice was the uh, the first one, actually, the, the most traditional uh, and the first to yeah to bring masks you know, on the Italian tradition. Mm -hmm. So some of them are coming from the Commedia dell'arte, uh, so the, the theatrical form, mm -hmm. and others uh, from the actually tradition, the history of Venice. So yeah. Yeah. And I learned a lot about um, uh, the masks and the different the different types of masks that there are because you and you had a wonderful slideshow showing the the various forms and some of them very intricate, very, very yeah interesting. mysterious, intriguing ones. Yeah, yeah. indeed. Yeah, indeed. yeah. Some, some of them uh, they used to wear all year long, and some of them are they were even regulated by the government from the La Serenissima Repubblica di Venezia, the Republic of Venice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the other really thing curious. I learned, and for all language nerds, we learned. The, the meaning of carnivale. Yeah, yeah, from Latin. So carnem nevare, so it's the farewell to meal in order to uh, to meet, in order to prepare to the, the period of Lent, the Christian celebration of Lent. Sure, and Lent is coming up now, so. Yeah, uh, that's these right are the, the moment, few, yeah. The few weeks sure. to celebrate before yeah. f those people who observe Lent are cutting off meat or cutting off. Yeah. Whatever they're giving yeah. up. Yeah, in the past, so. the carnival mm, lasts for several months, and now it's just weeks. <laughs> they're shortening it because of they're concerned about yeah. productivity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. National, yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah understand. sure. Understand. So you were, as I said in the introduction, you're originally from, from northern Italy. And if people yeah. are looking at their maps, they'll see that Vicenza is just to the west of Venice. Uh, to the west of Venice, yeah. So it is in Veneto region, so in northeastern Italy. Uh, my hometown actually is Kio, which is a really, it's not really small, not really big. was really famous during the Industrial Revolution, 19th century, okay. uh, the textile uh, center of Industrial Revolution. So it's actually historical place. Yeah. Sure. And your husband is from neighboring Verona? From, yeah, Verona. Okay. Yeah, from Suave, the city of wine. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. So you and your husband came here with a very small baby. Yeah. Because he got a, a, a chance to move with his company to West Michigan for a while. Yeah. Uh, so when he first said, honey, we have a chance to move to the U.S., what would you say? I was ready with the luggage in, <laughs> in the door and say, okay, let's go, ready to go. Yeah, uh, so we moved uh, almost two years ago uh, with our baby, Was he was just five months old. Um, yeah, so it, we, we moved because my husband uh, received this job offer from an Italian company that acquired uh, a company in Zealand, uh, which is Woodways mm -hmm. uh, by Zordan. Mm -hmm. uh, they do shop fitting for uh, luxury firms. Okay. Um, so yeah, as as he knew this this opportunity, um, we we always travel. Uh, we always been traveling uh, for many times for many years. My husband and me as well. So for us, it was really a great challenge to take, and even something that actually is nothing new for us. And he really knew before he told you that you would probably be on board and be okay oh, yeah. with this, with this yeah. trip. And I, I want to go back a little bit in your history because your uh, your mom, who's visiting us in the studio today, yeah. um, uh, she she's from the north of Italy, yeah. but she, your dad is from southern Italy. From southern, yeah. But he 
is his own kind of entrepreneur, mm -hmm. a really adventurous spirit, moved to the north, yeah. um, started um, a business there. And yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the fear of traveling is not in your family. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I will always been traveling, even in Italy. So uh, Italy is long, as you know, is a, a boot. So right. uh, as, as you just uh, told me, my father is from southern Italy and is from Apulia, from Puglia. So the heel of you know, the, the boot. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, his, uh, in his business dealings, he took you on a lot of trips when yeah. you were younger. Yeah, yeah. So he always took me to wherever he was going you know, for in Apulia, of course, but uh, even in, in China and in Iran and other places. Yeah, and it's his not, business. Every, not every teenager that can go no, yeah, to I, Iran and Yeah, the my first time States. I was just 14 years old, so it was really yeah. Yeah, a great time to, uh, to, to learn many things. Uh, so even just stay there and look at the people working and dealing. So for me, it was really a great school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you came here with your young son. Yeah. Who is growing bigger now. Yeah. And it, taking care of children is wonderful, but it's not necessarily uh, a full-time occupation for you. Yeah. And because okay. you have this entrepreneurial spirit, you started your own company here. Yeah, we, we tell us about Authentica and and the the motivation. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we 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 came here and I was uh, alone with my baby at home. My husband was working and I I tell myself I can I cannot stay all day long at home. And it's being a mother is a beautiful thing, but uh, I always wanted to do something on my own and um, I need some other satisfaction beyond <laughs> to be mother. Well, no? and small two-year-olds don't get up every morning and say, Mom, good job. Yeah, you know, no, pat you on the back. No, you're, you're doing not a fine at all. job. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I, I just follow my passion, uh, which is the, the made in Italy quality and lifestyle. So I, I had the opportunity to represent some companies, uh, wineries, actually, in the beginning, mm -hmm. um, to help them to enter in the U.S. market, to position their product in the U.S. market. And so I started to, to do this for other categories of products and companies in cosmetics and design. Um, so I'm, I, I'm really passionate about Made in Italy, and so I decided to to build my company named Authentica, that's <laughs> name it the authenticity and sure. give it the Italian touch to the word. And, and so I started my, my activity. Yeah, that's great. So yeah. are you having fun so far? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I always uh, I even uh, plan tours to Italy. So that's the funniest part, actually, mm -hmm. of my my activity. So and as, yeah. as long as we're talking about the tours, let's go there now. You have four tours that will be coming up each of them with a different theme. Yeah, they are wine tours, um, but uh, each tour uh, showcases a different experience uh, in Italy. So it's um, wine and fashion tour in Milan and the Franciacorta area, then fine dining tour for gourmet food lovers. Um, then we have uh, just women, uh, women and wellness wine tour. So it's uh, really focused for women and it's like a spiritual retreat. Okay. And then it's like a classic wine tour, but it's, um, we want to uh, give us the, the experience of uh, studying or learning history through the wine. So sipping the wine in a beautiful uh, palace, historical palace, all this kind of things that is not really easy to find. So mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. And by a real Italian, so this is important. You are, you are, you are authentically <laughs> Italian. Authentic, yeah, 100%. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. I want to go back to your, your arrival here because even though you're comfortable with travel, the U.S. is not home, it's not Italy. Yeah. Um, what have been some of the, the challenges for you in adjusting to new language, new culture? Yeah. Um, so West Michigan, or even Holland, Zealand, where I live, is not New York, it's not Chicago. So uh, I had to face, it's smaller, I had to face, uh, yeah, the thing that is, it's not the, the kind of U.S. that we expect, actually, we know from uh, Europe, you know. Sure. And um, I arrived here and actually I was alone without my family, without my friends, and I didn't know anyone. It wasn't really easy for me to just 
go out there and know people. So it's not I cannot just <laughs> poke every person and say, Hi, I'm here. <laughs> I'm from Italy. So But you had a funny story. When you first arrived, oh. you looked out your window and you thought, Oh my goodness, this is a very yeah. a very happening kind of place. It was so funny because I, I arrived uh, in a period of time it was April. April 26, I think, and we arrived at night. So the, the morning uh, after we, we woke up and I saw through the window many people in the street, in this neighborhood, it was a crowd of cars and people just strolling around and garages open with so many things selling, I don't know, I, I, I didn't know what was going on. And then after I figured out that it was a garage sale, but I, I, I didn't even know what was a garage sale. Which is not a cultural concept. <laughs> it's not a, no, 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 we don't have this, such a thing in, in Italy. And maybe some people, they do, my mom we used to do this actually at home. Oh. Yet our like, clothes that we want to, uh, to give to some other people. Mm -hmm. So we, we used to do like a little shop at our house, but nothing, nothing like that. American so garage sales are serious. I, yeah, we <laughs> advertise in the paper, oh, people sure. driving from yeah. other neighborhoods. And, um, this one in our neighborhood is one of the most famous in the oh. area. So, okay. <laughs> and the day after, yeah, there, there was no one. And the one person <laughs> each hour passing through <laughs> the way and so, yeah. But you're not on a well-traveled street, right? Yeah, so, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was like shocked. I was like, oh my God, okay. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So I, I will do my garage sale with this this year. Well, okay. <laughs> now that I know. <laughs> and truly, after a long Michigan winter, people need a reason to go outside. Yeah. So, yeah, good. Good save up and. It's true. Yeah, yeah. So, what are some things that you're really enjoying about Michigan after after two years? Yeah. Uh, actually, now I really know many people. I feel so really welcome here in in West Michigan. I have beautiful neighbors, and I. I which actually I, um, I hang out sometimes, and uh, we we used to to do like Italian dinners at our house. So we we always enjoy with mm -hmm. other people, locals people, sharing our culture, our kitchen for sure. We are Italian, so mm -hmm. always ready to, to share <laughs> food and uh, yeah traditions. Um, and I enjoy even the the nature here. I do love the. It's really wonderful in summer and spring the lake i didn't expect the lake is like a, the sea uh, it's huge lake it's Michigan huge is, yeah. yeah uh the weather not in during winter <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah it's it's lake effect uh, sometimes yeah it's <laughs> but uh, a little more shoveling we can not have everything so i accept it <laughs> it's good for your shoulder muscles to yeah stay, yeah that's right stay fit and yeah that's yeah, right yeah. yeah so when we were talking uh, earlier we were, you had mentioned uh, that business culture in yeah. the us yeah. and italy is different what did you notice there i uh, i noticed that even talking about uh, the um, cultural um, uh, point of view is uh, there is a, a really huge sense of community that i really appreciate here Mm -hmm. um, that I feel now, of course, not in the beginning, the first days, but now I really feel this uh -huh. sense of community. And it's really present even uh, from the, uh, the business perspective. So it's like companies, they used to create um, really partnership, synergies uh, between companies. And this is really wonderful. And it, in Italy, we are still learning to, to create these synergies, you know, in order mm. to grow, uh, to grow together. So. This is the kind of thing that really impressed me, and um, yeah, and in, in business and even in our daily life, you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and even in business, I uh, what I what I really noticed that I really appreciate here in U.S. and in Italy, maybe sometimes uh, we need to to import <laughs> this kind of uh, this uh, kind of way to do business is the focus on the customer mm, service. Okay. Yeah, the customer service and the customer satisfaction is here is really uh, extreme, and I, I see this everywhere I go. In Do you have an example? In the hospital or, or the restaurants, everywhere I go, I feel really welcomed, and um, it's like I, I don't know, I always been treated really, really well, and. Yeah, it's it's hard to do really uh, an example, but okay, yeah, okay, sure, sure. So uh, for 
viewers watching right now, they're kind of interested in Italy. Uh, thinking about a tour, when is your first tour? Oh, in September. In September. Yeah, I choose September because it's the one of the best time to visit Italy. Um, I prefer to uh, to go to Italy when it's like a low season, um, so it would be May, June, or September when the weather is still nice, mm -hmm. but it's not really high season, crowd of people, and you have the best services. So yeah, okay. and it's not maybe quite so hot. It's not quite so hot, so it's really good. Yeah, temperature. Uh huh. Yeah. So what, what do you recommend for Americans who are thinking about uh, touring in Italy? Uh, where to go? Or where, where to go, what to see, maybe what not to do? Yeah, <laughs> no, I, it depends, you know, what people, what they expect you know, in their trip and the way to travel. Because if someone uh, is more tourist and he wants to visit just museums and, the, you know, history places, uh, it's just... Uh, go there and uh, go to the biggest city and do the classic uh, tour, you know. Uh, in my uh, case, what, what I, I really offer and uh, um, I want to, to give as experience is something more authentic. So it's like you're going to Italy with a, a friend. So your friend is from Italy and mm -hmm. you go there and you just live with the authenticity of Italy. Um, and so obviously. we should we should emphasize to our viewers that these are not big bus tours. No, these are very no, small no. It's groups. very small group of people, really six maximum six people. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's really uh, much more personalized. Cus yeah, more personalized, customized. Yeah, something really, yeah, unique. Fantastic. In, in each, yeah. Sure. So for uh, for viewers, what is your website? How can they find you? Oh, my website is. Uh, Authentica.com, AuthenticaExperience.com. Okay, so, so www. Yeah. AuthenticaExperience.com. Okay, we'll put that on the screen okay, for thank everyone, you. everyone watching. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, last last question. The theme of our show is belonging. Yeah. How do you understand that concept? Okay, uh, it's something that um, I feel every day now to in my my life. So it's. Uh, going out of my house and see people coming out because they see me and they want to just uh, to talk with me. So mm -hmm. I feel like I'm I'm part of this place and I, it's like I always grew up here. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad that West Michigan has extended that that hand to you and uh, uh, much success in your in your business. Yeah. Good luck to your your husband you. as well uh, and your son, who's going to grow up uh, bilingual uh, yeah. over the coming coming years and uh, for your husband's assignment in West Michigan. So anyway, good luck with all of Thank that. Thank you so much. And definitely stay in touch. Thank you so much. You for bet. sure. Thank you for joining us. If you're watching us on TV, stay tuned for our following segments on language and culture. If you're watching Feel Like You Belong on the internet, we hope you will share your feedback with us via our website and YouTube channel. And be sure to catch our many other stories about the extraordinary expats who helped to make these United States a more vibrant place. <laughs>